Have you ever been playing a game like Clash Royale for fun and then get matched up against a leaderboard no life veiled with overleveled cards? Now you may be able to hold him back for a while with your Sigma male deck, but he suddenly pulls out an overleveled evolved Valkyrie from past Royale and you get destroyed. Well, that's a really common example of pay to win. So, in simpler words, pay to win games are basically games that allow the player to buy in game items that will significantly boost your progress. But to understand it better, we need to go back to the early 2000s. One of the first pay to win games to be released was Maple Story, which is a Korean RPG game, and the pay to win elements were designed through a shop system that allowed the players to buy in game items for real money. These items could range from cosmetics that didn't have any effects on the gameplay to exclusive and powerful potions and boosts that could make progressing a lot easier. MapleStory was one of the early examples of free-to-play games adapting the pay-to-win formula. And around 2010, a lot of multiplayer games went towards a free-to-play approach that allowed the player to access the game for free, while the real monetization was happening through the in-app purchases. With mobile games skyrocketing in popularity these days, many mobile games have also become pay to win, with a good example being Supercell's games. And even though they are trying their best to balance everything out, it's simply impossible. Another dirty trick that companies have up their sleeve is gotcha mechanics. A gotcha is a Japanese vending machine, and it also has a prize pool with good things that make you want to spend your money. But the catch is that it's random, so there is no guarantee of getting the thing you want. And even worse, there is no guarantee of getting anything good at all. So you can basically spend all of your money and still not get the thing that you want. These sorts of mechanics are really common in most of mobile games. Take Genshin Impact as an example. You need this currency called Primo Gems to be able to make a wish in a certain prize pool. And the drops can range from some useless stuff to OP weapons and characters. And with these sorts of mechanics, it's really easy to make a lot of money in a short time. Because there are a lot of people who are gonna spend their life savings on an anime girl PNG. And these people are usually called Veils. Veils are players that spend a lot of money on in-game purchases. The first type are the ones that squeeze their wallets completely into video games. And they are really common to find in games like Clash Royale. And the worst part is that they suck at the game, and even with all of the things they buy, they still can't win a single match. The second type are the highly competitive players that usually have a YouTube channel or a rich family. So that's pretty much all I had to say about pay to win games, and whether you like them or not, they are there to ruin your day.